Well, it's getting a little late in the day, and I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and take a few minutes to pop some stuff that needs to be done. I got a big old stack full of these three and a half inch drives, and they need to be taken care of. So I was going to show you how to recover those, and uh, you know what to look for, and uh, what what to not take out of there. Now this is a drive. This is actually three and a half inch drive, but it's a zip drive, and it's got a nice connector on the back. So these actually I put into the CD-ROM thing, and I, I want to take that apart and get that whole card out and and gather the more value out of that from the peripheral. So um, the peripheral cards that we have. So I'm going to put those over for a little later on. Now these are the regular three and a half inch disc drives. Now nobody uses these anymore. They're totally scrap. And there's really not a whole lot in here that you want to recover except the little gold pins. That's the only thing you want to do is the gold pin stuff. And most of these are made on brown board, one sided brown board, one sided on a green board. So uh, what we do um, is I just take a screwdriver, one of my favorite tools if you've been watching very many of my videos, and I get up in there and just snap that out. Now it just fell on the floor, of course, but here. I picked that up, and that's where this is. What I'm going to keep, I throw that in my bucket, the rest goes in my breakage box, and I'm done with that one. And then here's another one. A lot of these do go flying, so you don't want to, you want to have a place you can capture them in. Uh, when I'm doing them on the video, they may go flying on the floor. But this is a, you can see in here, brown board on the top, and it's got a green board on the bottom. So this is all low quality board, you can't keep anything. So just take your screwdriver, snap that out, and you're done, and you move on to the next one. And that's how fast you want to do on these three and a half inch drives because all you're going to get is just a bunch of pins and um, you know that it's going to have a little bit of gold on them. So I'll show you the bucket. I've done, I don't know how many's in there 20, 30, 40. And uh, you know, there's the, my bucket of the breakage stuff. And then this is what I'm keeping out of that. I can clean that up a little bit further before processing the gold out of it, or I can just throw that in my, in my uh, low waste. I might mean my low recovery gold bucket and uh, make that happen. So there's a little bit of extra money that you can get out of these three and a half inch drives. Making money from junk, that's what we're doing every day. Be sure to go to makingmoneyfromjunk.com and get your ebook. You learn how to make the bigger money than uh, all this little gold recovery stuff. More of a hobby kind of with this stuff. But it's a little bit of money here and there. And um, that's what we do is find gold where you can get it. And uh, make money as you can, all from junk. Makingmoneyfromjunk.com. We'll see you next round. Thanks.